Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Romans chapter 3, verses 23 through 27. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified as a gift by His grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus, whom God displayed publicly as a propitiation in His blood through faith. This was to demonstrate His righteousness, because in the forbearance of God He passed over the sins previously committed, for the demonstration, I say, of His righteousness at the present time, so that He would be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Where then is boasting? It is excluded. By what kind of law? Of works? No, but by a law of faith. The cross of Christ presents a dilemma. If God is loving and good, why would He let His Son endure the agony of crucifixion? From a human perspective, nothing about that seems loving. But by looking past the obvious, we'll see an amazing demonstration of love. To grasp what took place at the cross, we first need to understand that God is righteous and just. He does what's right and never acts contrary to His nature or word. On the other hand, mankind is sinful, and God's justice requires that a penalty be paid for sin. However, God is also merciful. So how could He exercise both righteous justice and great mercy? Before the foundation of the world, He already had the plan in place. So when the time was right, His sinless Son came to earth in human flesh to bear our sins. The Heavenly Father placed on Him all our guilt and punishment. Since the Savior's sacrificial death fully satisfied divine justice, sinful man could now be declared righteous. Justice punished sin so that mercy could rescue sinners. No matter who you are or what you've done, if you accept that Christ sacrificed His life on your behalf and that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. God's goodness and love are proved by the cross. This was the sole plan that could save us, and God's perfect Son was the only one qualified to give His life in our place. And Jesus did it willingly. <laughs> 